Hi, this is, uh, this is Praveen Gautam, your trusted dental marketing advisor. Now this video, um, we want to really talk about Google Ads and often I get asked by our clients and new clients is, hey Praveen, during the post-COVID or during the COVID or post-COVID, is, is really Google Ads worth it? And that's why I just thought, you know, to bring our PPC experts, trusted PPC experts in um, on the line so he can share about what exactly we're doing uh, for our clients and for our, the you know new clients. So, great, Ian. How are you, mate? Hey, how's it going? Yeah, I imagine yeah, it must be a lot of a lot of questions with uh, COVID. Absolutely, absolutely. And thanks, mate. You guys are doing amazing stuff. Um, you know, obviously changing a lot of things from level three and two and one. Uh, we are preparing. So, yes, uh, we are just on the live as well. A lot of our clients are uh, viewing this video. So, yeah, please. Uh, so, how everything is happening right now? Oh, it's been, it's been crazy. I imagine a lot of clients with questions. We also have a lot of questions of our own for the different stages of COVID. But mm. yeah, so if you ask me today, should we stop our Google ads during the lockdown yes. or during the COVID? I would say absolutely not. That would not be a good move for companies. I know they're scared. I know that maybe the results are not the same, but we should still try to continue during these lockdowns and keep on changing our strategy and adapting to the, the context of in which we are. So yeah, we shouldn't, if we want to keep on doing our Google ad strategy as we did before, I wouldn't recommend that. That wouldn't be a good strategy. We don't have to cover our eyes or cover our ears and not pay attention to the context, but start to listen to what is happening and adapt our strategy, but still continue on doing Google ads. So, right, that's a great insight. Let me recap what you just told here. So, what you are saying is don't pause and pause Google Ads or don't stop Google Ads, start the Google Ads. However, the strategy or the implementation or the time, because obviously it's not the content, it's a context, it changed. So, yeah, of course, change as what's happening currently, correct? Is that what you're saying? Correct, yes. And as we're locked inside our house, it's a great opportunity for digital marketing. People are more time on screen, on their cell phones, on their desktops, on compute, on the TV. So it's a, it's a really interesting time for digital marketing. I wouldn't recommend going off digital and doing maybe paper or cardboard or advertising because people aren't, aren't circulating on the street. So yeah, I wanted to show Probably. you a little. Please share some of the insights. Yeah, yeah, we'd love yeah, to see. Course. It. Love to I, hear that. I would love to show you a small little short presentation I built, based on um, this is a dental, a dental clinic in New South Wales. Right. So the numbers are right. there. Let me see if I can just present this so you can see a little bigger. There That's we go. Better. Okay, right. so when we started, like I said, when we started with the lockdown, a lot of questions, they, people didn't know what to do. We didn't know what to do actually also. So we had to adapt, listen, read a lot and start to think what we should do with the digital marketing, in this case with dental, with a dental client. So what we first did is try to understand the restrictions, the level three restrictions for dental clinics. And at that stage, the only thing permitted was emergency emergency only consults correct so, yeah. so i remember you know that was as soon as they put in level three it was emergency and we we're focusing on emergency but i think we we had a good result on that isn't it i mean even though you know obviously it is almost all locked down but still pre emergency we could able to drive some really good traffic correct yes but uh, that was because we did our research and try to understand the context okay. and heard what the people were saying. So people were still scared to go outside. Um, they didn't want to go in into the, the offices, into the consoles. So what we did there yes. was uh, try to focus and emphasize a lot on the telehealth and try to do all yes. the consultations online. So we divided our strategy in two parts. The first one was emergency only that was uh, in person, the in console people going inside the yes. dental clinics. And the other one was yes. the digital consultations. And it did give results, it did work, but always context um, changes um, the results on our campaigns. So here we can see yes. when we 
we passed from level three to level two, it was a 70% yes. of increment in clicks. Why was that? Wow, really? Yeah. Wow. Um, so mm -hmm. basically- Is that on both mobile desktop, Ian? Yes, this is on, okay. uh, on a whole, desktop, tablet, and mobile. Yep. But yeah, so right. this is basically the people saying, okay, so now we're not so scared to go outside our house. We understand that we can go inside uh, and people were much calmer to go into the dental clinics. So yeah, we yes. saw a 70% improve in the clicks also because what we did there when as soon as um, level two restrictions were, were announced, we changed our whole structure for the Google Ads um, PPC campaigns and yes. started doing what the restrictions permitted, obviously, which were almost all types of consultations and treatments that didn't involve a lot of blood or saliva. So non-surgical okay. yeah, non extractions, uh, teeth extractions, and uh, so basically well, anything to do with without aerosols is is uh, go about correct. isn't it? Yes, correct. Yeah. So level so, two, and and I think I think you and the team is uh, pretty much. I mean, obviously we're still in level two, we're focusing on the level two, and obviously a lot of we have been correct. received as well with the ADA guidelines. Will be soon in a couple of weeks' times level one. So yeah, uh, and and uh, so how, just before we touched on level one, so. Anything uh, for those, um, you know, those viewers who are watching right now for level two, is there anything they can do right now or is it too late for to do any campaign for level two as, you know, as we are navigating for level one? Uh, anything your, your, you know, top tips are? Okay, so actually, uh, I don't think it's too late for level two. We still don't know if level okay. one is going to be announced. So I would recommend yes. they start focusing on level two. And like I said, yep. we always have to adapt to the context. Today's context is level two and work on that. And I believe that if we go, if level one restrictions are, are announced, we will have an increase as shown from the past, uh, from level three to level two, because of the following mm -hmm. slide I'm going to show you. Sure. Like, like we said, so today level two restrictions permit a, all types of checkups, general dentistry and cosmetics that don't, yes. uh, don't involve uh, aerosols or yes. saliva and blood. But mm. still, most of the searches we're having today are emergency. What really? I, yes, wow. correct. So what I believe uh, is happening right now is people are still a little bit frightened, are not trusting that going outside is the best option. So mm. most of the searches we're getting are the emergency ones. But here, when mm. you see checkups, general dentistry, cosmetics, there's a lot of room of improvement. So as long as we start getting more confidence from the people, the, rest the restrictions start going down, yes. all these numbers on the left, cosmetics, general dentistry, and checkups are going to start going up. And these are a lot of clicks that we're still not getting, but it will improve in the future. So, yeah. yeah um, that's a, that's. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm, I'm confident that the numbers will go up as the restrictions go down. And that's a lot of room. That's improvement. great. And that's overall, overall in Australia, right? I mean, you know, not just particularly in New South Wales, but in Queensland, Victoria, correct. a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, regional clients as well. I think that will apply, yeah? Yes, correct. And also okay. with, the, with the restrictions, not a lot of people are moving, um, not a lot of tourists. So yeah, all these, all these factors tend to affect the numbers that we're having today. So as soon as the restrictions start going down, the numbers will go up. That's a great point. Now that's a great point. Obviously, what you are saying here is, you know, in last couple of couple of uh, months or couple of weeks, we've changed so much, and glad that you know we feel very honored what the the work you are doing and the team is doing on on PPC. So that's great. Uh, now, other questions. Um, is uh, one of the one of the common questions I always asked. I've been asked by is. Hey, Praveen, look, we want to do our Google ads, but, um, you know, what would be the ideal budget? We don't know. I mean, you know, we're not happy with our past Google ads and you, were, you know, just the money is going out. So what would be the ideal budget uh, if someone, you know, what, what would you think, Ian? Okay, so that's, that's a difficult question because basically 
Google Ads is <laughs> it's created on the concept that the person with most money shouldn't be the one that wins more, more clicks or the best performing one. What it tries to do is link user and clients um, if they show compatibility. So what do you have to do to get more clicks or to be the perfect match for your client? It's not only budget. It is one of the factors, but it's not the main factor in getting clicks. So interesting. Hmm. Yes. I would recommend three things. Budget. Hmm. I would put it maybe a second or third uh, factor in this, in this list. The second one would be the website. This is very important because Google analyzes your website and sees if it's mobile friendly, sees if it's user friendly, sees also the website speed. It takes all those factors into account in order to show the user the ad. And the, the other factor is the Google ad structure. If you have a structure with one ad group, trying to target a lot of keywords, a lot of different keywords that maybe don't make sense. Let's just put mm. it into an example. Let's do with a dental client. If you have just one ad group targeting cosmetic dentistry, general dentistry, emergency, and all different things, you're going to show one ad, maybe a generic ad, and take users to just one website. So yeah, that's not gonna work. You have, you're gonna have a high bounce rate, and Google has, what it does is it lowers your quality score, lowers the quality score of your Google ads campaigns and you start getting mm -hmm. less and less clicks of that for that. So what you have to do is to have a wall structure um, campaign and ad group, ad group structure in Google ads, have to have a well functioning yep. website, good speed, user friendly, mobile friendly. And also you would have to have an adequate budget. That doesn't mean a high budget. It just means Understood. depending on what I you're going to target. Right. I think that's where, you know, and I think a couple of months ago when you head up, because obviously your background, you even worked in Google uh, before, right, in US. So when you moved over uh, and working with us, when you are creating, so I remember, you know, almost first or second day or first week, you are creating heaps of ads. And I was like, what? I mean, you know, yes. the, the, the PPC expert yeah. before team is just a couple of ads and now you are like all excel sheet is full of different different ads and what i get from that time is impression that i mean obviously this is test and measure you know you can't you can't get 100 percent and i i kind of like about and but obviously you know from second week on what you you're starting showing, showing us amazing results so that's why client has been pretty happy with uh with what we are what you are doing through now well done mike good stuff so uh, what you are saying here is it's not just a budget, right? It's all about right. one that is website. The website need to be, um, you know, mobile friendly, uh, user friendly, uh, content wise. It need to be highly content. And obviously, uh, I remember a number of the team, including Selena and the teams, they work on a landing pages, a customized content. And it's so important, isn't it, Ian? Yes, it is. Because if you, if you have a bad website with, bad speed, it's not mobile friendly. Uh, Google, what's gonna do is start lowering your, your quality score and what you'll have to do is yeah. compensate that with money. So maybe if you have a low budget but have a really good website and people are happy with the results from your ads, they, don't, they go into your website and find it friendly, they can get what, they're want, what they want, you can get a lot of clicks at a lower cost. So you don't need a, a higher budget on yeah. for that. Yeah. Now that's a great point. That's a great point because, you know, and, and this is a perfect time. I mean, even, you know, if uh, our dentists or practice owners are not, you know, serving a lot of patients and they have a bit of time, then it's time to understand or going through the websites. It's time to, uh, you know, update it or change it or add content and make it very relevant, um, you know, especially post COVID. Uh, because patients more likely will be checking more. So idea here is to obviously make the website fresh or, you know, update it or make it new. Uh, and then obviously, which also means that that reduced, reduced your cost. Correct. Um, yes. for the Google ads, because it's anyway, it's an investment, long-term investment. When you're planting, it's not just like you put the ads and you run it uh, or you stop it. It's, you know, again, for looking for compounding interest of a long run, isn't it? Yes, much? correct. Yes. It's that's an a great advice. Yeah. Uh, that's a great advice. So now 
just I am conscious with the time. So what you're saying is, yes, we have got a really good website. We have a great Google structures or schemas and all those um, setups. And, and you suggest, you know, frequently check all the time or just once in a month. Because I remember we have, a, you know, some of the some of some of the clients, past clients, you know, when they have their campaign is done by other people, then obviously, um, you know, they have not been managed. And, and most likely, you, you know, the comments you make is like two months, three months, you know, other people's when they come back to us is that the campaign has not been even touched. So what you're saying is obviously it needs to be updated time and again, right? Yes, it has to be updated, but also you have to give it a time span for you to analyze the results. So if you implement a campaign, you can't be each hour trying to refresh the Google Ads campaign to see if it's getting results. You need to let it at least, I would say maybe two or three weeks to analyze if it's having results. And yeah. in these times of COVID, when everything is changing, clients always start calling and saying, hey, yesterday I checked the campaign and didn't get any clicks. It may happen, but you have to give it a two weeks time span or three weeks in order to to analyze the, the results point. I, I remember when they have just gone to level two i mean the number of calls we have received and and i you know I, i'm aware of it now right so that's 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 very clear so uh websites google structure budget uh so in not sell if they have got a good website so and they are not very competitive as in cbd let's say sydney or melbourne or brisbane but in an, I mean, let's say, you know, some, some, so let's say Gold Coast or Sun, you know, or in a uh, Sunshine Coast or that might be Ballarat or might be Bendigo. So what sort of ideally the budget would be? I mean, how much per day or per week do you think? I mean, to start with? Yeah, depending on the size of the company, but dental clients, uh, I would say they're not as big as, let's say, um, a car company. So I would start with, maybe let's say three years practice three to five three years practice three to five years practice okay i would say around maybe 200 a week or yeah around that number with yeah a week to start with yeah yeah all right yeah and uh, again in here what we are looking is you know cost saving as well not about closing the eyes and just you know morning money burning from the credit card but what we are really aiming is to be tactical so where ian is saying is all about making sure the website is good a content is a great website and Google Stuxus is implemented and obviously someone is playing on the buzzer literally every day or two. Yeah, that's what you're saying. Correct. Yeah. And thank you so much for that clear, uh, for the clarity. And I hope that's uh, that's a great value for our clients. Now, no, um, yeah, we are looking forward to seeing other other comments or if you, you know, if you are watching right now, if you have any burning questions for Ian, feel free to write or send us through Google. We will do a you know live uh, live so exactly like this and uh, yeah thanks once again of yeah. course great yeah, to no have problem. you in a team. Thank uh, you very much. Yes. Bye, Bye for now. See.